To submit an invoice within the supplier portal, click Create Invoice from the task list. Select the Identifying Purchase Order from the drop-down menu. Once an identifying PO is selected, the supplier site auto-populates. If the supplier site doesn't populate, select the appropriate site from the supplier site drop-down menu. Enter additional invoice header information including the number, date, and type. To add a PDF of the invoice, click the Attachments icon and select the appropriate file. In the line section, click the Select and Add icon. Select the lines you would like to add to the invoice or credit memo, then click Apply and OK. The line is added to the invoice. Confirm the accuracy of the quantity and unit price of the lines you added to the invoice. Be aware that Oracle does not allow you to bill more than the available quantity or higher than the unit price on the PO. If either of those need to be increased, contact the PO requester to create a change order. To add additional costs, click the plus sign icon. Select the type from the type drop-down menu. Then scroll to the right and enter the invoice amount. If there is an item on a PO that needs to be changed or that is missing, contact the PO requester to create a change order. Enter applicable taxes, in total dollars, in the tax control amount field. Click the invoice actions drop-down menu in the upper right corner, then click Calculate Tax. Once the tax control amount is calculated, the tax amount appears in the total section along the bottom. The invoice amount shown in the total section includes any added lines, taxes, and other ad hoc fees already added. Review the invoice for accuracy. If all information is correct, click Submit. The invoice is submitted for approval. Note, clicking Save and Close does not submit the invoice for approval.